is the Honda CB650R. It's a naked middleweight Neo Sports Cafe racer and in this video we're going to do a complete and thorough review. This bike is aimed at the young urban rider but it'd be equally at home on the um, windy country roads or indeed the motorway. Now this Honda has 93.4 brake horsepower and that comes in at a peak of 12,000 RPM which is absolutely phenomenal and the torque is 64 Newton meters and that's 8,500 RPM but this will pull very very nicely from as low as 2,000 RPM very smoothly so you can ride this around the town and the city very easily um, and if you change gear at say four, five, six thousand RPM, it's still a very swift motorcycle. But if you open it up and get those revs to build, it absolutely flies. And this is a very, very fast motorcycle indeed. The incredible thing about this bike is that you can get it restricted um, on your A2 license with a map that you could get done at your local dealer um, and this will bring it down to the 35 kilowatts which is 47 horsepower um, and what that means is that you can ride that at 19 years old um, for two years and then when you get to 21 if you wanted to keep the bike you can then de-restrict it and get the full horsepower and it's a completely different animal when you've got that full amount of power. It has the assist stroke slipper clutch on this which means you get a lighter pull on the clutch lever but what it also means is it uh, helps you with the gear changes but on deceleration if you're uh, decelerating hard say coming into a corner it stops that rear wheel locking up which is a really good safety feature which means you can attack the corners much harder. It's got the 41mm upside down shower forks and um, they're actually really good on the bumps and at the rear you've got an adjustable mono shock. Now the rake on this is 25.5 degrees and that's the angle of the forks or the headstock and the trail is 101 millimeters which is sort of that long which basically you can look this up but um, that means it's got sharp handling and uh, it's sort of built for the corners and it's a very nimble bike in the corners that you can carve up the corners and basically it will go round corners as fast as you want and the limitation is you the rider not the bike. It's got 17 inch wheels um, which is exactly the same as the Fireblade and this is basically like a baby Fireblade. Now the front brakes has got dual discs uh, 310 millimeters and a 240 single disc at the rear and the stopping power on this bike is phenomenal. It's got a 4 into 1 exhaust and it's quite short um, which is kind of in line with your ear so as a rider you get a nice, um, you get to hear the engine sound pretty well. But um, it's not majorly loud from the outside because obviously it's designed to be an urban bike so you don't want to annoy all your neighbours um, but if it was my bike I'd probably put an Acropovic exhaust on there or something like that. Now it's got a 15.4 litre fuel tank, a nice design actually, I like the shape of it. Um, that gives you a range of about 300 kilometres. Um, that would be doing 57.7 miles per gallon official figures, but it depends how hard you ride it of course, uh, which is 12.7 miles per litre, which is a pretty good uh, mileage for such a powerful and swift motorcycle. Um, it's got 810 millimeter seat height, um, and the riding position is actually really nice. Um, even for someone of my height, I'm six foot, just under six foot two. Um, you're you're just six foot three, and it doesn't feel too small. It's quite a nice, um, nice overall riding position. 
Um, the ideal height for this bike would probably be about five foot ten, as with most bikes these days. Um, and sort of the further away you get from that, um, it's up to you really whether you decide if you're six foot five, whether it's too small for you, if you're five foot three, whether it's too big for you. And it's sort of your choice. Now, the engine on this is silky smooth, it's so nice. And as I said before, as you build up the revs, and it will rev way over, well, a bit over 12,000 RPM, um, but all the way through, it it's, seems to be fairly much vibration free. So um, it's a very nice feel to the engine, and uh, the power pulls like a train from nothing right the way through. So, excellent engine. This bike weighs 202 kilos and um, for a four cylinder motorcycle that's pretty good and um, it's really well balanced and when you're sitting on it it really doesn't feel heavy at all it feels very very light so they've done that very well now the handling on this is ever so good uh, it's very nimble it corners very well in the town in the city in and out of traffic uh, it steers very well the turning circle lock to lock isn't too good to be honest um, so if you're sort of going the wrong way say down a street or a country lane you cannot quite make a single turn to turn around you have to do a bit of a shunt this comes in black red silver and blue um, I think it looks awesome in black because it looks really stealthy um, and it only costs seven thousand one hundred ninety nine pounds which is incredible that's a hell of a lot of bike for your money um, if you compare it to different competitors it's, it's really well priced now if you get your key put it in here and turn it um, you can take the rear seat off and underneath the seat you've got your manual and there's a little tiny bit of space there to store a few small things and there's a little toolkit that comes with the bike so this bike comes with heated grips you've got the button on the grip there and um, that's really going to come in handy in the winter if you've ever ridden in the winter um, with normal grips it's really um, you can't feel your hands after about 10 minutes so that's going to be a really nice feature now you've got LED lights front and rear and um, these are really really light up the road and um, they sort of give a little bit of a blue tint to them and one of the first things I noticed when looking at the front of this bike was how good that um, front light looks so yeah it's nice so you've got a nice digital display on this bike um, it'll tell you what gear you're in there your rev counter, um, how much fuel you've got, miles per gallon, the time, uh, miles per hour, how many miles you've done, so it tells you a lot and obviously you've got your warning lights there which will go out when you're riding unless of course you've got a problem with the bike. Um, my father can't see the rev counter um, because he's too old and he can't see so that's why it's aimed at younger riders who would be able to see it. Um, he'd prefer an analogue thing but I quite, I quite like it. Now the view in the mirrors on this is very good. Um, a lot of bikes, we often complain about the mirrors, um, as you can't always see behind you, but on this, um, despite being tall, um, the, the rear visibility is very good, so you can see most of the road behind you. As you notice, it's got a 650cc inline four, um, which is a stress member of the chassis. Like many bikes these days, the chassis sort of ends here, and then the engine is part of it, and then it goes on to back here. Um, and it's also got a big radiator at the front, and these these two air intakes either side. Now, before we got this bike, um, every time you ride a new motorbike or anything in life, you 
you come with your previous experiences. Um, and in recent years, I've been riding sort of cruises and what have you. Uh, and for my age, kind of that's the sort of bike I want. And I'm not particularly a sports bike kind of rider. Um, so I thought, I don't know whether I like this bike, but within a few yards of getting on it and riding, because it sounds lovely when you start it up, and, uh, and off I went. And I actually thought, no, I actually quite like this. It's quite a nice ride. So going through the town, um, it was an enjoyable ride. And um, when I got out onto the open road and could overtake the cars and get up to the national speed limit, and very quickly too, um, actually very much enjoyed it. So it's a, it's a really nice bike. It's not aimed at people of my age, but of course you can ride it at any age. Um, but on the whole, I thought it was a very nice bike and I'd be happy to have it, as I said, but I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't buy one because I'm not a sports bike rider, but if I wanted a sports bike, a uh, mid-size, mid-CC um, sports bike, it's fantastic. Don't forget to check out our T-shirts. Um, they'll be linked in the description below. There's many designs, all bike related. Um, there's new designs every month, so there's always something new for every sort of rider. And um, not long till we've got 10,000 subscribers, in which case they'll be displayed along the bottom of the video. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. So our verdict on the CB650R is it's a very impressive motorcycle. Um, it's a superb bike for commuting for around the town, very good on the country lanes, very good in the corners, accelerates like a rocket, it's absolutely fabulous. So you can't fault this bike, it's a wonderful machine uh, and at the price it's uh, for sale at in the UK and we put, we put at the end the price in the US as well, uh, so the specifications will be at the end. Fabulous motorcycle, highly recommended, big thumbs up.